these are your stretches for beginners for your spine so they are very nice to practice after a workout after a a practice of any form but they are also good to do on their own after your activation into a nice little bit of practice or whenever you feel like doing them so um, those exercises are meant to be held for about 20 seconds to a minute and you want to do at least two or maybe four if you just practice them by practicing them on their own I've designed them so you can kind of hold the stretch and then move into a flow Okay, so we are going to do the exercises together and you can see. So the first exercise, I am kneeling, but you can sit cross-legged if you want. They are side bend, so I'm aligning my hand with my hip and I gently take myself away and I take a side bend. As you get more used to this side bend, what's important here is first reach up into the arm and then above the head. You should be feeling the stretch into the whole of the side including your lats yeah so gently keep on sliding sliding i'm also pushing my hip away to create that space even further and as we get a bit more used to this exercise we can then come onto the forearm and keep on stretching so this is a really nice stretch for your side of the body this is really good after the upper body exercises and aerial as I, this is a really nice stretch. Try and also rotate that shoulder out. Yeah, so rather than have the shoulder in, rotate it out and try and keep it away from the ear as well. Good. The second exercise is your cobra, where we simply come into the forearms, or you can come onto the hands. So in the forearms, just make sure that you gently pull. The, the elbows towards you you don't want to over squeeze your shoulder blades you just want to think of lifting the chest we push and we lift the chest forward and up and you want to hold this if that's easy what we can do is by pressing the hands and gently start coming a little bit higher again we're not sinking the shoulders are pushing down the hands are pushing down try and make sure your pubic bone stays connected to the mat and also try and really keep that spine nice and long if you feel a compression in your lower back then take it down okay as you are progressing through that stretch obviously you can start lifting a little bit higher and so on Again, we want to keep the shoulders nice and broad, so don't pull the shoulders back too much. Just keep, again, into that push-pull of the hands, so pulling the hands away from each other and driving that chest in between your arms, okay? Exercise number three, we are coming into a low lunge. So here I'm taking my left leg forward, right leg back. A low lunge twist. So the first one that we do is taking, if I've got my left foot down, my right hand, is going to come on the ground and then i'm going to take a nice little twist open here where i'm going to try and look behind and as you start becoming a bit more acquainted with that type of exercise we can then place the elbow or the arm on the outside of the leg and keep that twist a little bit further i'm a little bit higher here but i am engaging into a different twist Okay, let me show you on the other side. So I take my low lunge, so it's a nice little stretch. Opposite hand inside, and I fan, <laughs> I fan my arm out. Again, I'm not sinking into my shoulders, I'm nice and tall, and I reach. Imagine someone is actually pulling you with the arm. And as I get more used to it, I actively use this arm on the outside of my leg. And I take a twist. Nice and deep twist here. I really like it. Feels very nice at the end of a class. And your last exercise is going to be your low lunge back bend. So really make sure, again, that you're not dumping into the lower back. I tend to say take your arms and hold into the elbows and lift the elbows. Press your head and lift the chest towards the ceiling. Remember, you want to hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. So be comfortable in that stretch and try not dump yeah so like try and open the back nice long deep breath this will stretch not only your hip flexor but your back as well so those are quite hard because you open 
If you feel this is a bit too much, then just do back bends on your knees where you just open and lift the chest here. This is quite, this is already quite good enough, yeah? If you feel like the low lunge might be a bit too much for your hip. I hope you enjoy your practice and let me know how you get on.